Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing. The day has finally arrived. This has been, this would be a lot day long remembered. It is the day of the homecoming of Jabba the Hutt's palace. Well, technically Boba Fett's palace, but you know, it's going to be Jabba's palace. So what are you going to do? This whole section will be evolving, be filling up with everything that is needed. I'm not sure whether this Jabba is going to stay in here. This is the 2010 Shadows of the Dark Side Jabba, or whether this guy's going to come down and fill that spot until the new vintage collection Jabba, which for all intents and purposes is, you know, a simple re-release of this from, from the Katana, from the Sail Barge. So, yeah, I'm thrilled to say the least. You know, finally, it's taken some time to save up for this big bad boy. Um, yeah, it hasn't. I, uh, when I originally, initially uh, announced, um, it was available for pre-order here in Australia through Zing Pop Culture. Um, unfortunately, at the time, uh, I just wasn't in a financial situation to be able to put a deposit down on the pre-order. So I uh, unfortunately missed out. And, um, you know, when the thing started coming out, I was just, I was so bummed out I missed out. I know it's first world problems, first world problems, but... You know, as a long-time collector, you know, the sail barge was, you know, the creme de la creme for three and three-quarter inch collecting. And to be able to have that continue on through Return of the Jedi for the palace is, is, is kind of a big deal. Um, and, you know, it's going to continue on with the HasLab announced in a little under a month. Um which I firmly believe now will be the Mos Eisley Cantina in some way, shape or form. We're not sure yet, but um, yeah, the purpose of this video, we're going to bust that open. We're going to take a look and uh, yeah, I'll do a bit of a review separately um, after this video. It'll be up in the next day or two from when I release this and then I'm going to have some fun setting it up and watching it all. Watching that shelf come to life just that bit more, or well, a lot more. Um, yeah, the box is heavy, so I'm pretty excited. So let's let's get a camera set up and uh, open her up. All right, folks. So yeah, just going to uh, extract this this piece out of its shipper box. Um, the seller I bought it from had opened it, so it's not opened the set, but opened the uh, shipper box. Um, you know, probably a good way to, you know, get accurate photos for, for postage, um, and whatnot. So, you know, the double, double box here, which is nice. You know, this thing's super duper protected. Ugh. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Now that's big. That's a, that's a big old box. This is a uh, very nice, this is nice. Oh yeah. So that's that box when it's empty is going to sit somewhere up there. <laughs> we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, but yeah, obviously the bib fortuna. There, I'm just looking at the artwork on it, it's so nice. Maybe I'll have a look, we'll have a bit better a look at the box when I when I sort of do the review and we'll take a good look at all the separate elements once they're open and you know ready to go. So but this this is the uh, the mighty unboxing. We have some instructions, bits and pieces. All the included parts, so that's cool. So I might actually put this down on the floor. We can take out 
the boxes as required. Love that. Love that artwork. It's so cool. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh, there he is, Fat Bib. Yet to decide whether he will be kept. I think I will. I'm debating whether to whether to keep it or open it. Um, no, there's a few little scuffs on it, which isn't isn't the best, but it is what it is. I'll get that in a get that in a case just to stop any other damage. A few creases at the top there, but you know, I'm not I'm not too fussy. I may end up opening it. I don't. I haven't decided yet. So we'll see. If I do, I will review it. It is just a sort of normal VC numbered card. There's nothing special about the card back. You know, in terms of its numbering, like the Yak Face or the other, the Haslabs. So, yeah, I think we'll just sort of go through and uh, open open these parts up as we go. Move the camera down a little bit lower. There we go. And sort of take a good look while I'm sitting behind it here. So we'll start with bag A. I have no idea how long this is going to take, guys. <laughs> Just come and hang out. What have we got here? On the floor already. Alright, we have... We have some cups, pots, some little ornamental bits and pieces. Just going to sit them over here to the side. You know, what? I'm actually going to pause this. We're going to get all these open, and then we'll take a look. All right, folks. So yeah. I've tried to keep these as organized as I can, and I'm realizing now that, um, you know, I probably could have set up the uh, the room before I started placing all these, so I may end up doing that. These are all sort of organized for the most part. I haven't just sort of dumped them all out, so um, I don't know. I just, look at the flame coming off. I love this, this piece here. That is so cool. Really blown away with some of the uh, the details on these bits and pieces here. You know, there's a cup tray, little slots there for all the bits and pieces. Yeah, you know, some sort of plastic molded cushions to sit around on the throne. So that's nice. Well, these actually soft sort of pelts. Got a few of them. There's three of those. Cups and drinkware and fire. <laughs> we have fire. It sort of sits in there. That's cool. You could swap out the uh, the monkey lizard for you know like bantha ribs or whatever. So that's nice. Yeah, really looking forward to spending some time playing with this display. But for now, I might actually. Um, move all those figures out just put them on the shelf above and create some space for when the uh when we're getting this play set out get it in the space get it where i need it to be um i think that part of the jabba's jabba's throne room with the hunting carbonite that'll probably stay where it is if it fits okay um yeah, this is exciting, guys. This is very, very exciting. So, yeah, stay tuned. All right, folks. So after opening box number two, um, which is obviously the base here, the throne will sort of sit in here, and it comes with the backdrop. I mean, I've watched reviews of this thing, right, so as it was coming out. But to sort of to have this in hand, actually looking at it, holding it in front of me, this is... um. This is something else, you know, 
I'm kind of just blown away. You know, this feels like <laughs> what happened when I was opening the sail barge and, you know, investigating and, and exploring that thing. Um, you know, we've obviously got the big archway to go in the front. I've uh, got one more box there. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of just blown away by how big this thing actually is and the detail and all the all the sculpt work that Hasbro's put into it. It's um, it's it's quite remarkable, if I'm to to say the least. You know, it's this is, you know, it's you know, this is someone who's been collecting 3.75 inch as long as I have. You know, it's um, this is <laughs> this is quite an event. Um, so yeah, just had a couple of thoughts as I was as I was going. So this is um. Yeah, this is pretty thrilling to say the least. So I'll check back in shortly. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right, I've got the throne room in place. The Rancor pit probably should be under here, but you know, I've only got so much shelf space. So it has its own little area over here. I don't know, maybe one day if they were to do more Rancor related goodies. <laughs> But for now, that'll be fine over there. The Rancor is good. You've got this sort of section here, which I've sort of pulled to the front, um, allowing for that little doorway to sort of come up the side. I may even push that back just so it's sort of in line like that. Yeah. And then, you know, it's not so bad being able to have a, have a character sort of in that little front section there. So it's not too bad. For the most part, I think, you know, aside from some texture paint, sort of throughout the front of the uh, the archway here, which is really nice, actually. Um, and given the light on the shelf, you know, it's just it's just strip lighting. Um, I think it's going to give off enough light. It'd be cool to um, you know actually incorporate some lights into the set itself but that's all right and you can just sort of sit there for the moment Bubo the frog dog so yeah I'm gonna have enough room sort of the rank will probably get probably get poked in the corner a little bit just so I can sort of have the band around the side here a little bit um, and some other goons sort of hanging out over here yeah it's it's gonna be fun but yeah, this Jabba will probably come over here and just hold the fort until the new one comes out. Um, thing is, I've got all the extra cushions and stuff from this thing, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this set at, at this point in time. Um, we'll see. The Ulo is obviously going to come across to join join in. This extra piece of chain here. I think that was on, on Bubo because I got rid of the uh, plastic bit. So yeah, just sort of reorganizing and then, you know, I've got everything down behind me here. Boba Fett's going to sit on that throne down here with Fennec. Um, so yeah, now we can start working out where all these little, all these little bits and pieces go, you know, it's, it's going to be fun. So we'll check back in afterwards. We'll see how we get on. All right, I've got this thing set up. This is so sick. So I've taken a little few creative liberties on where I put things. I've taken the cushions from the old Jabba's throne and just sort of spread them out over the new one. So it's just left. You know, that's the new one there. So I'm gonna just pop tuck that at the back there. Jabba's rail and his his hookah pipe, a few little bits on the floor, you know, little accessories and stuff, just little trays and dishes and stuff I've left around. I swapped the uh, the monkey lizard for the for the Ronto meat, I assume, or Bantha burgers. I don't know. Wall Cabochite has taken up residence in the ceiling gap there. Just somewhere he's he's needed to find a home for a very long time. 
I hope he stays because he's um he's just a little suction thing, but he seems to be liking it up there at the moment. So we'll see. He may fall, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll find another way to secure him up there a little bit better. So yeah, it's time to uh time to repopulate this this area. I'm really really stoked with this. It looks so good. Yeah, ready for. Ready for that updated Java though, that one there. It'll look a bit nicer, I think. I do like this one, don't get me wrong, this is still a nice Java, but he may end up on uh, the Phantom Menace shelf once the new one comes in. Up there with the announcers. But yeah, I love this, love this set. It's so nice. So yeah, let, let's get this populated and we'll take a look. All right, folks, here we are, all set up. I'm so happy. I am filled with joy and happiness. <laughs> we got the band. Got Umpaste and Akrev back there on the drums. I him. I've got the uh, the rankle keeper, and one of the uh, the spider guys, Boma monks. Recently done some videos for Power of the Force Friday on the Jabba's dances, and the various band members. So that was fun. I don't know if I've done Rapatuni yet. We'll have to get to that. So here we have the dances. Of course, it's not super scene specific. It's just a certain time of day, one of Jabba's days. <laughs> we got Ephant Mon in the back there. He's got this extra, extra Nikto. He's just at the back, leaning on the table. We've got Bib, Bib Fortuna. Now that's a uh, Tanis Bajek. Well, that's the other one, I can't remember. Got the other one up in the barge. It's in there somewhere, down the back. Oh, the Gamorians, got Boosh walking in. Need a Chewbacca for that. And Bane Malar, a man of man with his droopy shaft. <laughs> Boba, Bubo. Hermiodal. Yeah, just like I said, created had some like creative liberties with some of the some of the display. So I've just sort of used some of these pelts on the floor just as a bit of a bit of a carpet. I'd love to get a like a nice print out of like the rancor the rancor pit trapdoor. That'd be killer. And yeah, just up here, I've actually used the other throne to have boba. And Fennec sitting on that. So that will sort of come down here somewhere. I just need to rearrange. Rearrange some bits and pieces. Stand some figures up. Get them. Probably going to condense it down a little bit. But um, yeah. This is still a nice little scene. And just for now. I'll just put it here in between all the barges. Because uh, I don't have a Sarlacc pit. But yeah, after after finally getting the throne room, my next my next ticket item is the uh, the Skiff Guard four pack that was never released down here, and uh, you know that's going for you know three hundred plus to get it here in Australia for shipped from the US, which is absolutely insane. But I do need those figures for my display here. You know, so I can update the squid head from the Power of the Force one. And, you know, he may end up down here. And then, like, yeah, the, the, the skiff guards definitely need some updating. Well, the two that you get will definitely fit in nicely with the, uh, with the scene I've got going here. Another Gamorrean up there. Do have to put some batteries in that so I can get the interior of that barge all lit up again. But yeah, there's the there's the Java. 
that we'll be getting in the vintage collection at some point this year which will slot in very nicely here you just just top it off I think again Mr. Cabochite still holding on up there which is great but yeah this this whole Return of the Jedi section here is probably you know probably one of the main parts of my collection that I love the most just having this throne room all set up with the barge above it you know I, I always say that Return of the Jedi isn't my favorite movie but when I look around and sort of see this yeah maybe it is I've got a, had a lot of fun setting this up and yeah just need those skiff guards if you're if you're sitting on a set and can get them to me in Australia I definitely definitely love to hear from you Aside from that, aside from sort of kind of doubling up on a few few characters from up here to put in the palace, which would have been very nice, I don't know that I'm missing anyone really. I don't think. I will have to double check the archives. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. We know the we know the archives are incomplete because there are definitely still characters that Hasbro haven't made. But in terms of what they have made, I think I've pretty much ticked them off. But yeah, really happy with how Boba and Fennec are looking here. It's going to be nice to get a photo of that at some stage. Again, I appreciate you all coming hanging out while I unbox this absolute masterpiece. I'm so, so happy and grateful to be able to have this in the collection now. And um, yeah, just before I go take another look at Fat Bib. I almost, almost want to open him up. Almost. We'll see. We'll see. He is going to go in a star case in a matter of moments. So, um, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. <clears throat> As we, uh, you know, add quite a significant part of the display of my 3.75 inch collection. We'll see you all very soon. Till then. May the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.